What's up, guys? Ice about hell. Welcome to the Diablo Resurrected Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Dak. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like the video if you will, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the page and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. So, in this video, I will be showcasing a paladin, but not just any paladin, nay. And not just any origin paladin, neither, okay? Because in my last several paladin videos, I showcased a paladin that had Hand of Justice, Dragon, and Dragonon. Allowing me to achieve a level 43 or 44 Holy Fire with gear, I believe. Without even investing a single point into the Holy Fire skill in itself. However, in this case, I wanted to see how well it could fare if I don't have any Holy Fire Aura gear on. And instead, I max out Holy Fire, which is what I did right here. And I have mine at level 41. I have a bunch of GCs in my inventory, flickering flame helm, and a couple other things. Enigma. Part of the reason I wanted to do this was to free up my armor slot so I wouldn't have to wear dragon armor and I could have Enigma with infinite teleport pretty much. And a few other reasons. I can obviously swap up my gear with other things now. I can wear Phoenix for a lot of fire pierce. In fact, in this case, I have dual Phoenix items. So check this out. I'm a bit hesitant though. I'm a bit concerned that this is gonna suck big you know what. But the reason I'm making this video, of course, is for research purposes, I. Right? So, let's see how well it varies, because I really have no idea. But I do have a Phoenix Shield, and yes, this is a, this is a hot one at that, alright? This is a hot Phoenix Shield, <clears throat> level 10 Redemption Aura, but most notably the negative 28% to enemy fire res. So, I have that going on. I also have Phoenix in a Phase Blade, with the negative 28% to enemy fire res. In addition to that, I have Flickering Flame Helm, which gives three to fire skills. And unlike my last build, where I was, using, I was utilizing Holy Fire from the Dragon and Hand of Justice rune words, in which case, plus skill on gear does not increase the aura level. It only helped me in terms of conviction, and my conviction was already maxed out at negative 150%. Uh, enemy resist pierce. So they were of no use to me, for the most part, the plus skill on gear. So it's actually kind of nice in this case. I can fully utilize the plus three to fire skills because that is adding straight up to my aura, even though the aura is still not quite what it was with the Hand of Justice and dual dragon build. But nonetheless, let's see how well it fares. So with this gear setup, I have achieved negative 71% to enemy fire res. And I do have a Sunder Charm. So, I have no conviction, and I have no mercenary on this guy for research purposes, all right? So, all I did, and I even have 36 skill points uh, remaining for style points and for the challenge. But yeah, as mentioned, I maxed out Holy Fire, so in this case, it adds 57 fire damage to my attack and a fire aura damage of 802 to 1922. So, it's not very impressive, and I did max out resist fire as well as salvation to cap out the synergies for that skill i put one point into zeal uh i'm a bit hesitant but let's see how well this fares in the cold plants oh god oh it's hard up oh my god it sucks now it's not it's not uh, yet to be determined so yeah at least now i can teleport around and I do have Silkwick boots on, so I get plus five mana for each kill. Uh, which should work with my aura. Oh my god! Look at the seal damage! Oh, that's not good. So I picked up the shrine. That's fine. Oh jeez, it's slow! But this had to be done, as mentioned. I know some of you I know were curious, how does this fare without the aura gear, and instead of that, just maxing out the aura on your own? And this is pretty much as good as you can do. 
outside of an Infinity Merc, which I suppose I'm going to have to try. Oh my god, it's wretched! Maybe I need the Infinity Merc. Maybe that's, maybe that's the problem here. I hate to say it. I'm going to get an Infinity Merc, alright? Because we got to get to the bottom of this bullshit. So I'll be right back. Alright. So here we is now. With a mercenary. Equipped with the giant Thresher Infinity. With a level 12 Conviction Aura when equipped. To my understanding, this should pierce their fire res by like... Is it 60 some or 80 some percent? I, I can't remember which one it is. 60 percent uh, or 80 some percent? Let me know in the comments below. Along with the treachery, Ethereal, and Andy's, er, <coughs> Tell Rasha's Herodric Crest with the Numrud. Alright, uh, just going cheap here. Max out res, it's fine. So, the thing is, when a Sunder Charm breaks their fire immunity, Conviction, to my understanding, is then only one fifth effective against said broken immunity en enemies, which uh, it also applies to lightning and everything else that it can break. The Sunder, that is. So against non-fire immune enemies, then Infinity should have its full effect in terms of its level 12 Conviction aura. But let's see how well it fares now. Just run the cold plains. I heard death. I heard... I heard pain. Oh my god! I think the other build is better. As expected. Oh, and I do not have... Cannot be frozen. Nice! There it goes again. Oh my god! It's horrible! This is a level 41 Holy Fire. And again, the Fire Aura damage is 802 to 1922. Which is primarily what I'm testing here. Jeez! I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. Look at these guys. Couple hits. Alright, how does it fare against the cows? Is the real question to be asked here. But I'm also curious how it performs the Chaos Sanctuary, of course. Oh my god! It's whole No, it killed him one- it killed that guy in one hit. Stony Field. Here's the little guys. Fire me on little guys. Here's these guys. Light, uh, lightning me on things. So they do have somewhat of a weakness to fire. Oh god, do I not have the- oh, I do have the waypoints. Okay, so... Let's see how well this fares against the cows. So I'm gonna find that leg. So I could make Plague to go with this build. What I wanted to prioritize is plus skill gear. So I could have a Hoto. Oh, and this is a Plague with only a plus one to skills. The reason, of course, why I wanted to try Plague was because it has a 20% chance to cast level 12 lower resist when struck. Now, it doesn't have any fire pierce. It has poison pierce. And you're going to cast poison novas, but it's going to be quite negligible. Neg neg it's going to be quite negative, the damage. It's, it's going to suck big you-know-what. Alright? So... I'm not prioritizing that, which is why I wanted to prioritize, rather, the negative 28% enemy fire res that we get on the Phoenix. Although it might be fun to try that out, but I'm going to make the cow level. And we'll see how well this aura fares there. But so far, it's a bit lackluster, I would say. Without a doubt. Uh, the other one is, I'm quite sure, is better than this. Mercenary got that little tail swatted. I'll have to resurrect him. Alright, I'm gonna resurrect the Merc. We'll try that again. It is cool being able to teleport around and hit shit. Which I couldn't really do with my full-out dragon build because I wasn't wearing Enigma. I had to switch 
to Nadja's puzzler staff with the teleport charges, which are very annoying because you have to constantly recharge it. Oh my god, he's dead again! Holy shit, this sucks! So unfortunately, this is horrible. Research noted. But I'm curious what you guys have to say about it. My god, look at the mercenary, he's getting his ass kicked! Okay. Ooh! What do we have here? Oh my god! That's for a death right there. Lars like that for five seconds. Oh my god! Oh god, the mercenary he cannot survive! Shit! This is horrible! And I believe this is players one. Let's double check. It's players one. This is embarrassing. Look at the mercenary, it's the first time. Ice Stack has been embarrassed on stream. This is bullshit. God damn. How many times is that mercenary gonna die? Do I wanna keep that? I'm gonna hold on to it. I mean, look at the ticks. The ticks are wretched. Mercenary's not getting his fate going. Uh, I would help a little bit, the DR. Alright, but you've seen the cows now. Not impressive. And I'm beating the shit out of these things. With Phoenix. And last video I was barely even swinging my weapon. Uh, with the Double Dragon and Hand of Justice with the synergies maxed out and all that. So clearly that is the better way to go about this build, is to not put a single point into the Holy Fire skill. Only max out its synergies and have the skill from the on gear stuff. But let's see how well it performs in the Chaos Sanctuary. And the rest of my gear I have Mage Fist for the plus one of fire skills. I wanted skill gear, so I have an SOJ, A rack, BK ring, silk weaves just to keep the mana up because I don't have uh, insight on the mercenary. And again, I do have Phoenix and Shield, Enigma and Armor, Mara's Amulet, Flickering Flame, and Phoenix. Of course, I could have a plus three to Offensive Aura's Amulet, but at this point, it just sucks so bad it doesn't even matter. It would still be horrible, is the problem. I, mean, well, I, I suppose when I'm actually hitting things... It's not the waste. That was actually pretty impressive against these guys. Oh my god! Look at it, look at it, waste the elite! Here, look... Here, let, let, let's see if I can get to Satan. Let me try to let me let me attack this minions. I should have hit the ghosts. The ghosts are easy to kill with fire build. All right, let's see how well it goes against the ghosts. Destroyed them. Continue on. Try Nacho Libre, Lord Desace. Watch out! There he is. Oh shit! No, no! Dumbass! All right, let me try that one more time. So, it is a tit bit annoying how the only way to teleport is to switch away from your aura. Even if it's quick cast. Because, of course, quick cast still uh, places the skill on your right click for the moment it's used. So you switch out of your aura every time you teleport. All right, we'll see if I can uh, take care of Lord Desace this time around. Where is that homie at? What the hell? Oh, there he is. All right, we'll get him. Got him! Mercenary's getting his ass eaten. And I do not think he likes that. All right, one more tier.
It's a challenge. This build is a challenge, even with, like, a hundred high runes and gear. I suppose you can play it for that reason. One of the most expensive, shitty-ass builds. No, there's gotta be far worse, because this actually wasn't that bad. Okay, so we'll see how well it goes against Satan. Bunch of ROGCs with life, Fire Sunder, Annie, Torch. Pretty quick. Ooh. So, what do you guys think about that build? <laughs> it just doesn't seem to compare to the other one that I was using. So, I would like to try a Frenzy Act 5 Mercenary with Hand of Justice times two, along with Dragon Armor and Flickering Flame Helm. We'll just see how he does. And I would also like to try that coupled with my previous Paladin build, who himself was also wielding Hand of Justice along with Dual Dragon. So I'd like to see how that fares with the Mercenary. The Act 5 Fantasy Merc with two times Hand of Justice Swords in hand. So, let's see how all that does, probably in the next couple of videos. Appreciate you guys coming by, like the video if you will, subscribe to the page. Let me know if you're going to be playing Diablo 4. Uh, it seems like a mixed bag in terms of uh, the community reception. Right? Some of you guys are really excited for Diablo 4. Some of you guys think it's going to be complete ass. And it's like a, uh, a blend of Diablo Immortal and Diablo 3 with a little bit of little tiny bit of PoE and input it into the mix. But let me know your thoughts on D4. Are you going to be playing it or what? Because uh, I intend to play it and I'll probably live stream some of it. And I would like to get a Druid going and just see how the game is. You know, I'm, I am interested in trying something new. Uh, it's undetermined how the longevity of Diablo 4. Like, are we really going to be playing it years and years later, making videos on it? I just don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. It seems like you're being very, very hopeful if you think that is going to be the case. But uh, I'm taking it one day at a time. So stay tuned for some videos on that when it comes out. But let me know if you're going to be playing it. Talk to you all later. Peace be with you.